what's good my jjk brothers and sisters we got jjk 252 it's been a while since i made a jjk video so you already know we're gonna get right into the spoilers and as you know always thanks to maya aka jujutsu kaisen gold jover on x slash twitter for providing the spoilers so the chapter starts off as expected with no change in the pov and we continue with sukuna versus maki yuji and yuda kusakabe and ino discusses that yuda moved the coordinations of the domain barrier to a good spot they expected yuda's domain to crumble and had maki ready to surprise attack sukuna ino says it would be better to have more people inside yuda's barrier to face sukuna they had initially planned to send choso inside as well but kusakabe says it's too late and if anyone tries to enter now the sukuna will become conscious and their surprise attack will fail and by the way all of this conversation is happening before maki entered yuda's domain so during this little flashback maki prepares to enter yuda's domain ino says kusakabe can join the fight too but kusakabe denies and cheers for maki as maki gets ready yuda's domain breaks kusakabe says yuda will give them the sign to attack the moment sukuna is relaxed the most then we come back to the present, Yuta gets slashed and Maki stabs Sukuna. Rika immediately takes hold of Yuta while crying and Ui Ui jumps in to transport Yuta somewhere else to heal him. And please tell me it don't look like I'm tripping. It looks like Mr. Akutami did not get to finish some of these panels on times because some of these panels don't look fully drawn out, but that just would have looked like to me. Maki tries to slice Sukuna in half, but Sukuna quickly evades it. Sukuna realizes that Yuta willingly destroyed his domain to send a signal to his comrades. But there's one thing in particular that we need to see. Sukuna can't heal Maki's cut as quickly as he can with other injuries. The narrator reveals that when Maki cuts a person's soul with her special katana, you can't normally heal that wound with RCT. To heal one's soul, one must be able to clearly see the outline of their soul. Though Sukuna can easily intercept his soul, thanks to being in Yuji, he's not able to easily heal his soul since RCT to heal souls is different from usual and damage from Gojo's battle. Yuji tries to get back to fight Sukuna, saying Fushiguro, it's not over yet, but he suddenly falls down, coughing blood. Yuji has been constantly using RCT so far even though it's been just a month since he's learned it. Yuji realizes he hasn't healed himself properly. Choso comes to the rescue and tells Yuji to calmly use RCT to fully heal himself. Choso says, circulate your blood to every corner of your body as if you're spreading roots. Imagine completing the outline of your body with your blood vessels. Then we move back to Maki vs Sukuna round 2. Now we have amazing panels right here. You know, Mr. Akutami been cooking up and there's just a whole bunch of panels of Maki and Sukuna just going back and forth. Sukuna tries to hold Maki's katana, which was about to stab him, but Maki uses the momentum to lift Sukuna and throw him away. In more amazing panels, Sukuna cuts the building he was touching into pieces and throws it. While Maki's field of vision was obstructed by the flying debris, Sukuna sneakily sends a slash but Maki evades it. Mayamura says Sukuna changed twin meteors before sending that slash towards Maki. Maya said he doesn't think that that was a world slash because Sukuna didn't use the full chant. Sukuna realizes that Maki can see his technique better than other sorcerers. Sukuna also says facing Maki feels like how he fought Maharaga and Shibuya. Mayamura gives us a little bit more translation when it comes to the panels. He says, even though Maki's katana stabbed his heart, Sukuna is forcibly having his heart beat by using his cursed energy. This is exactly how Sukuna survived after he took out Yuji's heart back in the juvenile arc. We also get more translations when it comes to the last panel I just showed. We have Maki saying, you're going to continue that while fighting me. Obviously, this refers to Sukuna forcibly making his heart beat. And Sukuna says, as of now, I have no problems. We switch POVs to Hakari versus Urume. Hakari says it's easy to recognize Sukuna's presence. Hakari initially thought it might be bad seeing Sukuna's OG form, but Sukuna is still getting beat up. Hakari also says that Sukuna's cursed energy is starting to dry up. Hakari says we will be winning, but Urume laughs at Hakari, saying he's a dumb idiot, just like his cursed technique. Urume defends Sukuna by saying, judging by his cursed energy waves, I could tell that Sukuna has no interest in his opponent. Urume tells Hakari, you people should be ashamed of yourself for not being able to show results better than Gojo. Even if we take out the after effects from the first battle, Sukuna-sama still hasn't given his all. Wow, that's an impactful line. We still got respect on Gojo, but it's still saying that Sukuna still hasn't given his all, which is crazy. And that wraps up JJK252. We have the editor comments at the end saying the heat in the battle knows no limit. So boom, right there. Maki going absolutely insane. I'm not gonna lie. I ain't even gonna say what's gonna happen to Maki. I'm gonna say that for next chapter. But hey, there we go. We got the chapter again. I'm sorry for my JJK brothers and sisters. I've been slacking. I'm not gonna lie. I've been feeding the One Piece brothers 
brothers and sisters and the Boruto brothers and sisters. But you JJK people, you know, I got a domain expansion video coming up in probably a week or so. So, you know, stay tuned for that. But we're going to continue to do the spoilers. I mean, at least feed y'all that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, peace out. Peace out.